the next autumn lesson. Uh, let me show you what you will need for today. So wax crayons, um, white paper, you can go pick up leaves with your child outside, any amount that they want to pick up, let them pick up, some glue, and also something to rub um, a background off on the page. Um, so I said we can use bark or sticks or so. Um, I decided to take um, an old place mat. So you put it on, under the page and the kids rub it off like that. So I'll show you again just now. And then also a colored paper or cardboard or whatever you have. Any color that's, that you would want to use is fine. <laughs> All right, I'll see you just now. Hello little ones, welcome back and today we're going to talk a little bit more about um, autumn. So tell me first, what day is it today? Yesterday was Tuesday, so that means today is Wednesday, well done. Let's say the days of the week, shall we? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, good job. Let's see here on the chart. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Good job. Now listen, everyone. Uh, you know what you're going to have to do now, right? Yes, go tell mommy what the weather looks like. Is it a sunny day, a rainy day, a windy day, a cloudy day? Go tell them. Quick, quick, run, run. Good job, everyone. So today we're going to talk about the weather in autumn. So in autumn, it's a little bit cooler than in summer, right? And we start dressing a little warmer. In the mornings when we go out early, it's still a little bit cool. So we dress in long sleeve shirts or even a tracksuit pant or jacket or jeans just to be a little bit warmer. But as the day progresses, as the day goes on and it begins to um, get later, it gets warmer, so in the midday it's a little bit hotter and then um, around the evening it gets cooler again. So we have cool weather in the morning, a little bit hotter in the afternoon and then at, in the evening it's, it's cold-ish again. So um, we need to dress a little bit warmer in autumn. And what are the other things that change in autumn? What can you think about? Well, we eat a, maybe a little bit different fruit. Maybe you'd rather eat apples and um, bananas. No, 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 not bananas. Pears or pomegranate. They are very healthy for autumn. And you know what else? We start eating warmer food. Because in summer, we like to eat fresh fruit, um, maybe salad or cold meat or anything cool, right, to cool our bodies down. But in autumn and going through to winter, we start eating warmer food, um, like maybe some rooibos tea or even hot chocolate. Maybe mom can make you a nice stew for supper or soup or even pasta. Pasta is a lovely um, dish to make our bodies nice and warm from the inside. Because you know what? When it's cool, our body wants to have warmth from the inside to um, make our immune system stronger and we need that at the moment because it's now um, getting colder so our bodies will get sicker easily. So we need that warm food from the inside out. And also, it helps us to fight colds and flu. It makes those soldiers inside our body nice and strong to fight all the bacteria and all the germs that come and uh, when, when it's cold. So, um, why don't you go ask mommy to make you nice soup for tonight or even sometime in the week and then you can help her peel all the veggies, um, the carrots or whatever you want to put in there then you can help her make supper. Will you do that? Go ask mommy if you can make some soup. Okay boys and girls, are you, do you know what time it is? Yes, it's time for our art activity. Alright, go get ready, here we go. All right, the ones. So what we're going to do is you have the um, placemat or any textured bottom um, thing that you can put on the at the bottom of the page, and you put your white page over that, and you take your crayon and you put it flat onto the page, and you rub, 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 rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. Rub it. Makes lots of noise. Lovely noise. We like noise. 
even change it if you want to, to put something else underneath. And just rub on that. Okay, mommies and daddies, then you're going to help them just cut out um, the bark. So you can draw a tree there that you're going to cut out. Uh, so you'll cut it out. Please help them, the little ones. The bigger ones can do it by themselves. Okay. And then you're going to take your colored page and you're going to stick it on there. Okay, and then they're going to take their leaves and just stick it onto the tree, the page for the tree. And there we go. Okay, lovelies, did you enjoy that? Great stuff. Now it's time to do our um, color <laughs> recognition activity. Let's do it. Okay, let's have a look. So, what color is this one? Blue. And this tortoise? Red. And this one? Yes, orange, and yellow, and green. Good job. Now it's time to match them. Which one is this? What color is this tortoise? Yes, it's green. He goes there. Oops. What color is this tortoise? Yes, it's orange. Does he match with that one? No. Does he match with that one? Yes. Okay, which color is this? Yes, it's yellow. Yellow. Does this one match there? No. Does it match there? No. Does it match there? Yes, it matches that one. It's yellow. What color is this one? Red. Good job. Red matches with that one. Yes, good. And the last one, what color is that? Blue. It matches with that one? No. Match with that one? No. Does it match with that one? Yes. It matches with the blue one. Good job. Let's say the colors again, shall we? Blue, red, orange, yellow, and green. Good job, everyone. Fantastic job, guys. Now remember, Show me your pictures. I can't wait to see them. Send me some photos, okay? Go play outside. Have a lovely time outside. Remember to do some puzzles and ask mom if you can do some Play-Doh today as well. Alright, I'll see you tomorrow. I miss you and have a lovely day. Bye!